Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode number 44 of Part in the Dashboard. I'm your host, Sergeant Barrow. With me today, I have fellow co-host IXI Sweat, also known as Ben. Hey, what's going on, guys? I have reoccurring guest in the works media, also known as Jake. What's up? And I have The End, also known as Ivan. I usually fuck with him, but I'm not going to this time. <laughs> I, I'm starting to like you. You're growing on me. Aw, that's sweet. This time, though, guys, instead of having completely separate topics, we're going to do like a breakdown. I don't want to call it a breakdown. How many, how many people <laughs> did you say, Jake, that did a breakdown of the Black Ops trailer? 6,000? 6, 6,000 people no, that's on That's technically not true because it, it was just that if you search Black Ops 2, then just put the upload date to today, you get 5,620 results. Yeah, that's still a lot. <laughs> yeah. That, is a lot. yeah. So we're yeah, that, 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 all, that doesn't we'll mean that this, they're all breakdown trailers. We'll call what? this Black Ops 2 analysis. Oh, because that's, that's totally different than breakdown. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I don't what know. I just a, think that... There's a lot to talk about here, you know, so we can, it's easy for us to make an entire episode out of this. And yeah. everybody has different opinions, so I think it's only right for us to put our opinions out, opinions out there and have people uh, have the ability to put their own opinions out there in the comment section because this is an ongoing conversation. It's what Par in the Dashboard is about. Uh huh. But let's bust into our first topic here, which is to talk about the trailer itself mixed with the campaign. What did you guys think about what you saw? I was shocked when Wood was still alive. I shed a tear. You shed a tear. Yeah. Because he was, an ex he was in an explosion, wasn't he? Yeah, I think so. I can't remember too well. but Like he was in an explosion that happened at the, the missile facility, right? Yeah. Yes. And they really, they really left it open, though, to, to say that he survived because it kind of showed like... It kind of showed like a getaway route. I don't know. Wait, I, I heard, I I heard that if you collect all the intel in the original Black Ops, it tells you how he survived. So, why have we not seen? Why is there not six thousand videos on that? I don't know, but that's that's what I heard. I'm just saying what I heard. I'm not saying that it's true. Apparently, you know? he's not popular enough, like Ghost was, because yeah, you know go, uh, how many Ghost trailers was. there were for him being alive. Yep. Jesus! Even though he got shot in the stomach and then gas and in the head. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Let's not forget and he got shot. He, fucking, also, he got he also burned. Yeah, they poured gasoline on him and pushed him into a trench. It, it was all minor, a setup. It was a conspiracy. He, minor flesh wound. Alive. Minor flesh wound. He's now amazing. He's like Ghost Rider or something. <laughs> he's chilling I, in India. I like that it's in the future. I really do. I um, am intrigued that it's in the future. I like it's in the future, but it's not in the distant future. It's in the future that's foreseeable. So it's not like you're not jumping ahead, you know, 50 years where we're riding on like, I don't know. Like, shooting lasers yeah, and not, shooting and not lasers fighting and on forces anymore. In, in a the lot trip, of people were upset about this, though. Yeah, I think it's just they're scared of change. You know, you, it's always the fear of the unknown, and they don't know what this whole futuristic theme is going to bring to Black Ops Two. Is it going to be good or not? So they just automatically just hate it because some for some people, Call of Duty is their life. You know. The funny thing is, is if you recall when Black Ops Two dropped, people were mad that they're going back in time. They were like, "Oh man, you know, Modern Warfare Two, <laughs> it was in this time. Now these guys are going Mark. back, going back in time. I don't want to see this." And it's like, okay, what do you want? You want present? You want past? It just seems like no one's going to be happy. I think, I think the problem with the gaming community is everybody's so polarizing, and it's just you can't please everyone because every gamer expects so much. It's like I feel like gamers are some of the most spoiled um, people there yeah. are, yeah, just because well, they expect everything to be free in the way they want it. I think the the resound uh, res the most popular opinion here is that they want something different, and this is different. Uh huh. You know, so and you now, can't get upset. Now a lot of people are upset. And, and then they're upset because it's different. And it's like, well, well, look, man. You you know, you need to kind of break out from the mold, do something really different. You need combat on horses, okay? <laughs> you know, you know what I think it also is. It's. <laughs> and I just thought that. No, no, I'm, I'm going down this road a little bit. These guys, they were like, you know, all right, we've had them shooting from tanks. We've had them shooting from jeeps. Ah, fucking horses. <laughs> Hopefully this is like a World War One. Red Dead Redemption style. You know what people are saying about the horses is that they're saying that what if in the story mode at some point uh, the use of, of vehicles is no longer, you know, 
good because uh, since there's a lot of robotic stuff going on, since it's all futuristic, maybe the vehicles have turned on them. So their last resort was horses. <laughs> but then again, my, my counter argument to that. Skynet. My counter yeah, argument to yeah, that. But that, that's kind of how what's his face uh, what goes in it in a trailer. You know, he says in the end, you know, you got to have people that are that are willing to do stuff that, yeah, yeah. that robots can't do, like make decisions and. Right yeah, horses. but also at the part with the horses, you saw like a, a guy on the back of a of a pickup truck with uh with with, with a fifty cal. He was on the technical. So I think that they were just using horses because it was it was the desert area, and you know vehicles don't really perform well on sand. Not a lot of the times, horses are. Well, usually- I mean, I, and they were really going in depth on those. We're talking a lot about the horses, anyway. They, That's a huge. They were step, going right? in. They, they were putting a lot of work into the horses. Was it Jessica Chobot? that put a picture out with how in depth they were going. I don't know. Maybe I just love Jessica and her name came to mind first, but somebody put out a tweet with like a photo of them having all these sensors on a horse with uh, a guy with sensors on him on top of the horse with an AK 47. They're like getting all this data on what it would actually look like. And I'm like, that's a lot of work to put into just one sequence. I think you're going to see a couple different sequences with the yeah. horses for them to put that much work into it. I saw, I saw a close up pic of uh, one of the horses assholes. I saw a close-up pic. I'm not really sure how that's relevant at all. Uh, have, yeah, uh, that's, that's, <laughs> how would how how'd that go for you? Uh, it was interesting. It was very the, interesting. There was a close-up pic of Jessica Showbot and uh, Sarah Underwood doing yoga. I love Jessica. Holy shit! Why is, uh, not a, why is that not a topic? I can just why is that not in the chat? I, right she's, apparently, she's got a tramp stamp too. Jessica does. Uh. I was uh, a little bit disappointed. To do with Black Ops too. I feel like we're wandering here. Let's go into our next topic here. <laughs> Zombies is going to get a lot of changes in Black Ops 2. Uh-oh. Yep. Let's talk about that for a second. All right. What are well, you most excited I got, about? I got, I got Besides horse assholes, Ivan. 